I'll never forget the first time I saw him. I was in the stairwell of Nelligan at Lemoyne College. I saw him going up the stairwell, he was going up, I was going down. I was just blown away with how beautiful she was. Really, I'd never seen a girl who's so beautiful before. Oh my god, I can't believe that this is happening. <laughs> right around. I'm so happy for you. I remember thinking, who's that guy? And we smiled and that was it. Her smile was radiating across the room. Her eyes were just this beautiful blue. I just knew she had a, a extra special spark in her eye. It's amazing to think that today we're getting married. I don't remember meeting a lot of people, but I remember the first time I saw him. <laughs> what time is it? Wedding time! What time is it? Wedding time! Uh -huh. What do you say about a guy who asks every family member for her hand in marriage? He personally went to our children and my wife and I individually and said, I want to ask your daughter's hand in marriage. Dan uses those two qualities, that dependability, that selflessness, to really go out and set this world on fire. So the proposal is uh, quite interesting. I had to find a way to figure out how to surprise her and catch it on film. He's a fifth grade English teacher at a charter school and he wanted to go to a local park and film a question and answer video about college. Hi Kipsters, it's Mr. Jason here at the Crossings and I'm here with... Skylar Aviza. She's from Gilderland, New York and we're going to do a little interview because Skylar also attended Lemoyne. And I posed a number of questions, six or seven questions. Some of them asking about her college experience, some advice she had for my students. He was asking me just random questions about where we went to school. Tell us why you think reading is so important. Reading is so important because it will always be there your whole life. And then um, on the last question, I went over to the other side of the table. He got up on the other side of the picnic table and got down on one knee and asked me to marry him. And I just fell on my heart like, there's no other girl like this. And I hope to spend the rest of my life with her. <laughs> the last question I have is, will you marry me? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> when she said yes, when I proposed, that was the best day I've ever had. big day, the moment in celebration that we will never forget as our love is solidified in an unbreakable bond of marriage. I've imagined the moment walking down the aisle with my dad, seeing you down the aisle on the altar. It will be magical, just as we always dreamed it would be. God bless me with the most loving, patient, honest, beautiful, caring, and sincere life partner and best friend. I dreamt, I hoped, and I prayed that this day would come, and now it has.
love you with all my heart and I am so happy to be getting married to you today. We've been best friends now for six years and being able to spend the rest of my life with you is the greatest joy that I could ever receive, the greatest blessing from God and I am just so thankful. Well, good afternoon and welcome to St. Pius X. Well, Dan and Skyler, what a beautiful day to get married. It's beautiful outside. We're here in God's house. You're with all your family and friends. And I know I speak for all of them when I say that we are really privileged to be able to see you and witness your vows today. Oh, that I know you're the one for me while the world's fleeing. You're all I need. No, there's nothing you could do. Even on bad days, leaning on the good days, I sure as the I promise to be your rock all of my life, to protect you and to support you. I promise to love you with all of my heart. You are my best friend and soulmate. You make me laugh like no other and make my soul sing with joy. I will be there for you to celebrate life's victories and to pick you up during times of defeat. I promise to be your teammate because I know we can and will weather all storms. Dan, I have waited six years for this moment to be looking at you in your eyes surrounded by our family and friends ready to make this bow to you. I can't wait for our new beginning, for the start of this chapter of our life, and to have our love only blossom and grow even more. You are the best thing in my life. I couldn't love another person more, and I'm so blessed that I'm able to share the rest of my life with you. I love you. <laughs> I promise to lead you closer to God through my love for you each day, and to be the best man and husband that I can be so you may have a joyous life. I love you, Skylar. My love, my wife. And you have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen you both and fill you with his blessings. For what God has joined, let no one divide. You are the man. You are such a blessing, not only as a brother, but as one of my best friends. There's no greater feeling than knowing that you, right now, are the happiest that you could possibly be. Right here, that's 
Skyler, you have led a path for our family for the last 25 years, and now you will continue along that same path alongside your partner, your best friend, and the love of your life. I've never met a better match for you than Dan. One of the greatest things that you two both have in common is your passionate love of life. You have the ability to take the most common times and turn them into extraordinary adventures. We will always remember today, for it is their beginning of forever.